In this Python tutorial, we will make a GUI application with image buttons using the PY Simple GUI library. There are text, entry, and image button objects in the application. Depending on the button pressed, mathematical operations are shown in the result text object. We will do the project together again. In the video I will show you how to do it step by step. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the PY Simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I am creating an object list. I add the text object to the list. I create a variable for the window. I send the title, layout and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the event variable becomes equal to none. If the X button is pressed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window containing a text object. I add an input object to the layout list. I added an input object to the window. I create input and text objects for the other number. I added two text and input objects to the window. I create a text object for the result. I added the text object to the window. I create another text object to show the result. I add a button object. I added an anonymous button object to the window. We will use these images for the buttons. To download the images, you can click on the GitHub link in the video description. You can also add different images you want using this method. I synchronize the image file with image file name. I created a button with an image. I do the same process for subtraction. I created the second button containing the image. I am creating a button for multiplication. I added the third button containing the image to the window. I'm adding a button for splitting. I added the fourth button containing the image to the window. I need to access objects. To access the objects, I will define a key for each of them. I can access objects using these keys. I define separate keys for input, text and button objects. If the addition button is pressed, I add the first and second values. I 
I change the result value using the update function. Let's try the application. I will add the two numbers. The collection was completed successfully. I'm copying the if query. I'm creating a query for subtraction. The button for ejection worked successfully. I'm copying the if query. I am creating a query for multiplication. Finally, I create a button for the division operation. Let's test the application. The buttons I created for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are working. In the next video, we will make an application containing a slider object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.